going on everyone welcome back i hope everybody's having a great day guys i decided to upload another moon photo here on mars anomalies and beyond but the future ones will be put where they're supposed to be on the lunar anomalies and beyond page so if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to bounce over there subscribe to it and don't forget to hit the little notification bell on the right hand side so you'll be notified of any new videos coming out all right guys let's jump into this this one's cool for a couple reasons the background is what I noticed right off the bat. Now, when you zoom into this, guys, you know how I like to bring lines out of these photos. I want to show you something. It's very, very faint. You're going to have to really, really look to see this, but it is absolutely here. Check this out. I'm going to put it in the middle of the page, right about here. Look at this fine line coming up, going over, across, and then back down. You guys see that? Right there, very faint going up, goes slanted up, goes across, and it comes back down almost like a curvature kind of thing. Right here, we have a line going across here on the left. But there's a separation. There's like two pieces coming down. And it seems like it comes around and comes back down. Guys, almost like some kind of weird craft. Is it a craft or some kind of structure? I don't know. Let's get into that. Because I think you guys would find this pretty cool. And then after I show you what's in the background, wait until you see what's really in this photo. That's a part that's really going to blow your mind. So let's jump into Photoshop and let's see what we got. All right, here it is. Let's zoom into the background here. Again, here's the line. You can see it a little bit better now. I didn't do anything to it right here. I mean, I do this entirely straight, but you guys get the idea. It kind of looks like it does this. And there's a line going right across. Doing this. Right there. And then there's some other ob objects over here that just don't quite look right. I'm looking at this piece right here. It almost looks like a piece of land, right? Not sure if it is. There's another piece over here. Lying on the ground. Okay. Let's jump into that. So here's the lines right here. I brought them out. Guys, this is cool. Now, again, I'm going to go back. Keeping a close eye on the lines. I'm just going to go back and forth. Bringing the lines out. That's all we're doing. Now, let's go a little further. Make it a little darker so you can see them a little bit better. Guys, what are we seeing here? Now, let's slide over to the other side real quick. Again, what is this object here? Now, it looks like, well, you know, it looks, just looks like the ground, right? Is it? Because the way I see this thing, it's pretty damn straight, considering that this is supposed to be lunar surface, right? Let's find out. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Look at the edge of this thing. It has darkness under it, so there is an actual shadow, right? Let's keep going. Here's this other piece that popped in. Again, look at the lines. Any white objects, we'll just make them a little whiter. There you go. And guys, there's another object right here. I'm not sure what to make of this. You guys see that? Check this out. Let's get a little further in. Kind of doing this here. You can see the lines to it. Kind of does this, but check it out. It has what looks like, like darker squares in here. And something else kind of like doing this. I'm not sure what to make of that. You guys see that? Okay. And like I said, this to me, this is not natural right here. This is no way that is that natural. It's literally standing up off the ground. And when you see this right here, they blend it so well to kind of like smooth it right over. So it looks like it's part of the lunar surface. But is it? It's a little weird little rock right here in the background. See that? Look at the shape of that. Kind of doing this and kind of kind of doing that in the back. You guys see that? It's pretty cool. So let's jump back out of that. So I'm looking at that. I'm saying, okay, that's that's pretty it's pretty interesting. And I also thought this other crater was kind of odd, right here. Almost looks like it does this. Not so much round, but it kind of looks like a square kind of thing in the ground. Now that may be just the way we're seeing the shadows and lights, because you can see the shadow into the. Right here, clearly the sun's coming this direction. 
right? So to me, that's pretty cool in itself. Some kind of weird oddities because even to the left of this right here, we can see what looks like this area right here. Right? Have something doing this and then something else doing this here. I see that. Now, to me, this could be a, a manipulation. I'll tell you why. If you look at this pot right here, it looks like it went right over the top of these. Look at right here on each of these. It literally goes over the top. So it's almost like they kind of boxed it in and then just put a texture over it to try to hide what's in there. So it actually smooths out. You really don't see that. But it is, in fact, there. Again, there's the line. See it pretty darn well. And I can see this right here. Middle section here. There's two lines here, two here. See that just at the top? But you don't see the rest of it because it's been blocked out by this. Right? And again, we have this other squares here or shapes. And of course, these weird looking pieces here laying here on the surface. Okay. This is what I found interesting. Maybe you guys can help me out with this. I'm looking at this astronaut, and I'm looking at his camera, okay? Look at the way his camera, here's a tripod, coming up like this. It's actually slanted. It is not straight up in the air like it would be right here, right? And look at the actual view he's doing. It's literally going up like this here. Let me show you in this photo here. Now, if you look at this closely... The yellow line pretty much looks like the actual direction that the camera is looking in. When I looked at it a little bit more, it actually looks like it's going more in between there than it is on the lower one. The green one wasn't meant to be higher. It was meant to be just more to the right so that he may be more viewing in the right because we can't tell the way he's turned either way. Like if it's this way, if it's this way or back the other way, right? We can't tell. So, but when I look at this, let's look at the camera closely. It looks like it's going straight out like this. So it might be, in fact, going between there. Okay, so clearly he's not looking at the lunar surface, meaning down here. He's looking up in the air. What the heck could he possibly be looking at? Let me show you what I think he's looking at. The reason why I did this video, guys, is somebody had mentioned to me, and I don't remember your name off the top of my head. You can put it in the comment section, and I'll, it'll probably trigger my memory. But they said, you know, you got to check this photo out that Richard Hoagland had done when it looks like these glass structures on the lunar surface. Well, this one here has that weird kind of thing to it, too. Hmm. Let's get into that. Okay. What do we find? Okay. Lighten the whole thing up. Look at this, guys. What are we seeing here? And that's also added blur, by the way, guys. Now, let's get into this a little bit more. All I do is went down here with the dodge tool. Now, is this light just refracting off this, the surface of this, whatever this thing is? I don't know. But to me, there's a shape here. Now, I want you guys to take note of this. Look at the lines. I don't know if you can see them that well. Right here. Coming down. Kind of gets lost right there. There is some kind of weird crap going on in this photo, and you can see it right here. When they've done this, got to look carefully. What it looks like they did is it looked like they outlined the object and did their best to take it out of the photo. Now, let me just back up a little bit. Let's keep going with this, because then I tried it a different way. Can we get anything different out of this? Let's try. Okay. Seems like it's a little bit more than it was. See it? Again, I don't even know what this is. As far as this weirdness, as far as the brighter spots, I think it might be just light just reflecting off this thing and it's just throwing these weird shapes. I'm not sure. But again, we can see these lines. I didn't put them there, guys. You can see that right here. It's like they purposely did this to hide whatever's in this photo, right? And again, we have this blue light type thing coming on right here. All right. Let's keep going. I tried it a different way. A little black and white. And then we did another enhancement. And again, you can see this weird, this weird piece comes right here. Looks like it kind of stops there. Kind of does this. 
not sure what to make of that, guys. I, I just don't know. Now, some of the skeptics might say, oh, he added this. He did this purposely. Did I really? Let's have a better look, shall we? Guys, it's in the photo. It's right there. You guys see it? Right here. And here's the other piece. It's in the photo. I never added this. This is there. Here's the original again. Right there. I can see it right here. And we've got again this right here. What is that? Anybody? Now, of course, I did a big outline, but you guys get the idea, right? Whatever that thing is, I believe it's in the sky, and I believe it is absolutely is what they're actually looking at. You have a, another area over here that's kind of lit up, and to me, guys, wow. Again, this might have been blacked out, and this is the reason why we're not seeing what's really in the sky. Many people have said, hey, how come we're not seeing stars in here? How come, what's going on here? What, what, what's the deal? Well, this is the reason why. They literally doctored the background of this so you cannot see what's here. Again, I can see that without doing anything to this photo. I can see it in the photo right there. Right there. That thing is there. It's literally in the photo. Okay? See that? So, what are we looking at here? What is it? And again, we have another lighted area here. Now, every now and then, you can get some bright spots. You can get sun flares. You can get all that crap. Okay. Now, keep in mind that the sun is going this way, okay, and not into the camera of the astronaut taking the photo of this astronaut, okay? So, we have to ask ourselves, what's going on here? Because whatever this is, it's in the photo. There you go, guys. As always, you guys be the judge. Tell me what you think. Guys, it's no surprise to me if we're seeing structures on the ground, why wouldn't it be taller structures? I've said this before. It looks like the buttes, these so-called buttes and mountains, they literally look fabricated, CGI'd over actual items. I believe a lot of those hills that look like this milky kind of weird CGI is nothing of the sort. They're not hills. They're actually structures that they put this template over the top of these to make it look like it's natural terrain. I don't believe that it is. And I believe this here, they just blacked it out and didn't take most of it out. And this is what we're seeing, the remnants of what they didn't take out. I believe there's structures, and I believe this astronaut was taking photos of the structures in the actual, I'm going to call it skyline, but there's not really sky, but in the actual darker area of the skyline. What do you guys think? As always, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Guys, please like and share the video. It is appreciated. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.